there <laughs> is a very strong pick and a pretty easy ban. Um, so we won't be seeing an Atlas this game or an Era, which I think is also an interesting ban. Yeah. Um, but we've got a Juno, a Dubu for Juniata, and we'll see who that third pick is fairly soon. Um, but we do see it looks like an Asher goalie again and a Kai forward, which is a bit of a mix-up. Yeah, yeah, we do see. So very similar team to what we saw last game when it comes to Dubu, Rune, and the Kai. But, or my apologies, Dubu, Rune, and Juno. But Asher, Amy, which we have not seen on stream yet. Wow. <laughs> it, okay, immediately goal from Ole Miss. Yeah, and Kai forward. So slight play style differences as we were hoping to see. Um, but already the goal on the side of Ole Miss and this pressure is starting to rack up already. Jeez. Look at that, goal barriers down. Yeah, I'm expecting this game to, go, to be a lot faster paced um, for both sides. So far it has been Ole Miss really commanding the game so far but um, these goal barriers are a lot more out in the out in the open um, than we've seen on Oni Village um, so hopefully we'll see goal barriers oh, go down a lot faster goodness. yeah dangerous black hole spawn there it, it can spawn right on top of you and blow you up in one frame but we do see that one go down as the core hit it first um, we see a shot Ooh. not quite able to find the goal but Start with a great shot there and see if Dubu can defend this goal barrier. Yeah, this, we're so far, we're seeing Ole Miss is doing a great job of just building up this pressure. We do see Kai standing on that black hole as it spawns, and now his stagger is practically gone. There it is. Um, we will see up to these players, they really want, as Juno gets, gets another, another goal, one. Um, it's going to be difficult in a matchup like this where there are so many projectiles flying around, like so many characters with a lot of range, a lot of distance. You also now have to keep track of that black hole and then situations <laughs> like that. <fly. laughs> yeah, Rune already finding himself at less than 50% HP um, thanks to this brand new disaster in the middle of the map <laughs> that we haven't seen yet today. This is very exciting for me. Um, but we do see a core flip come out from Asher. Um, both forwards for the side of Juniata very close to their core flips. Um, Rune looked oh. for a pick there, but didn't quite get it. And Juno will just knock it in the old-fashioned way. Yeah, Old Miss uh, takes a quick 3-0 in the first set. Uh, Juno obviously scored all three goals. Yachty gets MVP. <laughs> gets the first pick here on Awakenings. Yeah, fairly simple math on that one. It's the, <laughs> the most impactful player gets the first pick, and if one of your players scores three goals... I think you know who it is. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have to think for very long on that one. So uh, Juno takes Deadeye. Uh, stronger ranged hits, and Asher takes stacks on stacks. We've seen that. We've seen Asher take stacks on stacks before. I don't quite remember how it went. Yeah, I, it's, I don't think we've seen it on an Asher yet, um, which is interesting. We've seen... We've seen stacks on stacks picked, like, highly prioritized by a lot of players, which is interesting to me, although I guess it, it does make sense to a degree that none of these games have been extremely deadly, um, whereas stacks on stacks uh, in particular will lose all of its progress if you die. <laughs> uh, so when there isn't much threat of dying, especially as a goalie, um, it will just make you faster way more often. Oh, um, Yeah, we just see <laughs> great plays to get rid of these goal barriers, but Asher does make a stand there and see if... Heads up, Kai. <laughs> yep, does stand right in the black hole as it spawns. It can creep up on you a little bit. There's no, no like, audio cue or visual cue other than that green circle filling up. Um, so it can be easy to lose track of as Kai is standing in some dangerous turf. Every time Kai, Kai really likes Ooh. to walk on the black hole. Oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> and he and goes there back. he goes. Oh, no. Go for all this. Kai is having a day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hurts. But it, it is such a – it's hard to keep track of the black hole in the middle of the map while – maintaining your goal barriers while trying to threaten the enemy team's goal barriers while trying not to die to the enemy oh, team's no, characters. Oh, no, he's okay. We see. Okay, yeah, a little dangerous there again, but um, this black hole is a very dangerous thing. Like, I don't, not much to it. <laughs> it's it's pretty overwhelming, um, and we're, we're seeing that already. Yeah, and I 
do like. We're seeing Ole Miss's pressure. Again, very similar team to what we saw last time. But now we're seeing it in full force. Juno's blobs are getting these goalposts so consistently that it's becoming almost just oh, too overwhelming. And now the, with these stronger ranged hits, Amy is taking a lot of damage from the blob. Look out for the black hole. <laughs> I mean, oh Again. no! <laughs> oh, I mean, takes the hit, gets knocked out from the black hole explosion. Kai got another large hit. <laughs> I was oh. not actually expecting that yeah. to blast her back, but it did. And now Kai's in trouble because Kai is staggered. So if Kai stays, uh, never mind. <laughs> Quick gold that makes it so that we don't have to worry about the black hole. But Ole Miss is swinging hard and swinging fast. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But for those of you at home who have not tried this game, or if you have tried this game. One, definitely try it. But two, if you haven't played on this map specifically, understand from a spectator's pers perspective, it's very easy to call out like, oh, heads yeah. up, like, oh, there it is. <laughs> but again, when you're in those situations, you're, that's not what you're focusing on. Right. Your eye is usually focused on the core or where you're about to send the core. Yeah. Um, it's not looking at the middle of the map, looking at that countdown timer as there it is once again. Yeah, it's easy, easy to lose track of as we see Nugget walk right back into it again. Um, take a lot of damage there, but looks like Nugget will be okay. Uh, but, I mean, shots are raining down on that goal barrier, and Asher able to hold firm, and Doobie does let up the oh. goal barrier of his own. Kai does get picked by the Dubu wall. Uh, let's see if we see a, any cool black hole plays on this <laughs> goal, but we'll see as core flip comes out from Imi. Both nets open. And oh, Juno's in trouble! Juno Aww. will go down to the black hole again! And we see a core flip come out from Dubu. Rune has his own core flip, the only player left with a core flip, and you better believe Asher is going to keep the ball, or the core, excuse me, away from him. But, won't quite get the opportunity, but... Oh, oh no! Juniata. How did that Taking happen? A dubu, hey, the millimeters, man. He I misses it by just a little bit. <laughs> I blinked. <laughs> I didn't even see what happened there. But, yeah, uh, Juniata is able to find, I believe, their first goal of the day so far. Or of, of this the game, series. I mean. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, quick work of those goal barriers from Ole Miss. And see if Juno can make a Aww. solo play. Jeez. This, Yachty is Popping having off. a field day right now. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you can tell just by looking at the level. Level 7 compared to level 5. You talked about two levels is just a little bit of a bad day, but it's starting to snowball a little bit as now Juno gets first priority and opting for the one that everyone can take, cast to last. Yeah, yeah longer-lasting creations for Juno, especially with those blobs uh, going into this. If there is going to be another game after this, uh, provided that Juniata wins, can we find another creation buff, uh, creation buffing awakening? Because if they do, that's going to be extremely pivotal for Old Miss. Yeah, and that will be highly contested too. That's a great point. There's looks like three uh, people went for it, <laughs> right? And like like creation buffs in general, um, I believe there's one character in this game that would not benefit from that, and it's Kai. All five other characters would benefit from having their creations buffed so I, I'm that's a great point Warren if if this game does end up going to a um, game four um, expect the creation buffs to be highly highly contested but right now we're seeing the goal for the side of Julieta is very it's open like it's been open a lot it's these goal posts have been taken so fast but now it's interesting to see when the black hole is open, suddenly this game's tempo slows down a lot and the pressure on the on the side for Asher is feeling just a little bit less intense. <laughs> oh the, <laughs> the black <laughs> hole does find a pick on Darune. Um, I, Juno had a couple scary shots there almost go in, but Asher Oh, oh no! Juno. That is a dis 
disgusting bounce. <laughs> what was that? That hit the corner and bounced straight into the goal. That's that's pretty frustrating if you're Juniato. That's triple I'm not block sure how into, you can... into the corner, into the goal. Right. What was that, man? Yeah, I'm not quite <laughs> sure how you can prepare for that, but a quick kill onto uh, Rune there oh. for the side of Ole Miss. And we have a numbers advantage for Juniata. Yeah, and with that, uh, with that kill on Taruna, I and mean, then <laughs> Juniata takes the goal, and oh my God, the black hole! Kai is just forever attracted to the black hole. <laughs> yeah, we saw Asher hit the core into the black hole while Kai was close enough. It just feels, like, you know, yeah. At some point, you start thinking, "Gee, yeah, you would never target your teammates." But oh, uh, <laughs> we get a goal barrier break off the black hole. Oh wow! Oh. Okay. Nothing to come of it, though. That's, that's okay. Very dangerous core. We see core flips come out from both sides, but nothing to show. And I, I do want to point out, I've been keeping an eye on the 25th Nugget down there. They're playing very dangerous. I mean, look, they're, they're standing right on the wall. Uh, but not. I haven't seen much um, punishment from that, other than just walking into the black hole. Uh, but I would like to see a little more... Uh, maybe kill threat from either Rune or Juno. Uh, it's a little harder for Juno to find a kill, but oh it's busy. <laughs> she's busy finding goals instead. Uh, but yeah, so Ole Miss does find a quick 2 0 lead. Um, and, and I think Juno's, I mean, yeah, I think Juno scored seven out of the eight goals we've seen this, this series, if not six. She has definitely been there scoring a majority of the goals. Yeah. And it's it's absolutely amazing what these uh, what these blob creations can do once they get going. Yeah, I definitely want to get a look at um, Yachty's stats after this game, but we'll hopefully we'll take a look at that um, when we get there. But for now, the game is not over. Um, <laughs> I feel like I've said this before today, but <laughs> if if our games today have been have taught us anything, it is that this game is by no means over. Um, Ole Miss looking for one more goal to put it away, but we have seen two reverse sweeps out of three games on our broadcast today. So, certainly looking uh, <laughs> a little stressful. Oh, no, Rune does find a pick onto uh, Ivy from the side of Juniata, and oh, might be able to find a goal barrier. They do, and we have an open net Ooh. on both sides. Let's see if Juniata can stay alive with a goal here. Yeah, Kai has core flip. It's very possible. It's real. Yeah, Rune also oh. with the corn flip. Er, corn, corn flip. flip. <laughs> <laughs> corn flip. Uh, Juno, very close to hers, now has it. There's one. Asher has hers. Probably yeah. use it to match the Junos, but Dubo, Dubu, excuse me, also has his. There's one, there's two. Oh, wow. nice goal from Juniata. Really well played. That is some awesome coordination from Sleep Deprived Wiz and the rest of Juniata to set up that play. Wow, that was that was. <laughs> we, we see the icon come out there. You, you know you're feeling good after that. <laughs> good enough that we might see uh, might see a ga another game. After yeah. This. Oh God. <laughs> Don't get me going now. I will. I will start losing my mind again if this <laughs> if this is a reverse sweep too. I mean, this today has been so much fun already, and we're not even halfway through it. So definitely looking forward to the rest of these games. But this game is not over by any means. So. Yep. See if Juniata can stay alive a little longer with two more goals. There's one. Oh, there's two goal barriers. No. Yeah, it looks like the Tofu Fortress for du from Dubu just kind of screwed himself over there. He did. He, he, he knocked it into one, knocked it into the other. It was just a really unfortunate timing on that. Yeah. All right. Open nets for both sides. We've been here before. Dubu does have his core flip. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> Rune is able to just punch it in and. We have a Ooh. relatively quick 3-0 from Ole Miss and just just clean gameplay from Ole Miss. Yeah. Who no MVP. <laughs> wow. Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hard to assault. complain about. We are definitely spoiled by those first three games oh, yeah. going to game five. <laughs> uh, but 